Let's take this week and talk about communion, the Eucharist, the Lord's Supper. Those are names that we are typically uh, used to associating with this event that celebrates the body and blood of Christ. One of the things that's really important in this, and I love the, the terminology that, that scholar N.T. Wright has used with this, that it is rehearsing the salvation story, rehearsing our salvation story. And it has been the central kind of feature of Christian worship for the better part of 2,000 years, that, that the work of Christ on the cross Body is the incarnation that God came to us. The blood is the redemption and the work of uh, the finished work of Jesus on the cross. That those two things that God came to us and that he rescued us and those occupy the centerpiece of Christian worship and have for 2000 years. And so one of the things I think I want to just continue to put in our minds is that we need to rehearse this. We need to, yes, God is worthy. He's worth our worship all the time. That, that never changes, but we don't even have any access to that worthiness, to God's love or anything apart from the work of Christ. And the work of Christ is central to all of that. So we, we celebrate, we rehearse, we, we give ourselves to this story of our salvation history. If you think about it, it's, it's very, very common if you go through the Psalms that they're rehearsing constantly the salvation history of the Lord. They're coming back to the Passover. They're coming back to these deliverance narratives where God has actually acted in the realm of human beings and has rescued us and he's rescued Israel. Our salvation story is the work of Jesus uh, coming to us taking on flesh, giving his life for us on the cross. We rehearse those things. And as we do, we come back to ground zero. We come back to the place where we are loved, we are worth it to God, and so he sent his son to rescue us.